Hey, good morning! It is a lovely January day. Bright, sunshiny, it's really nice out here. I am out here ready to clear some sand again. I've got the uh, forage harvester from Paul at Department of Public Works. I have the clearance from Leo to go ahead and start clearing sand. And I've washed my tractor and my pickup truck. So, yeah. Just a nice little, finely Got a little sponge and bucket. I'm gonna hop in here and get going and give you a heads up on some things while I clear this. Gosh, I'm gonna need to get this thing serviced soon. I need to make an appointment with Rachel to uh, bring it out and service it before I get into the growing season when I'm going to need to do actual stuff with it. So it has come to my attention that I implied heavily <laughs> or outright stated maybe that uh, Leo, the helicopter pilot who works with Frontier Security, had given me some privileged or secure information. I just want to be very clear, that is not the case, that did not happen, Leo did not tell me anything that he shouldn't have said. There was just some very strong urging to uh, consider that we have these giant city walls and maybe there's a reason for that and I should be a little bit more secure. Most of the time when Leo and I chat it has nothing to do with anything frontier security related because of course that information is not for public distribution and of course he would not violate any sort of security clearance he has by sharing information with a non-secured person. Um, mostly when we talk we talk about the farm actually because Leo's parents are farmhands over at Ravenwood Farm uh, his dad works in the dairy over there, and his mom uh, helps with a lot of the field work. And Leo grew up on the farm. So what I'm doing out here in the desert is a little bit different than what they do over at Ravenwood. But we sort of compare notes. He's given me a lot of tips on the uh, equipment that they use over at Ravenwood and what I might want to consider doing here in the future. So yeah, it's just nice to have a friend I can sort of talk farming with, or just random stuff. You know, I mentioned during the holidays, um, it was a little blue about not really having much to do with my family these days, so it's nice to have a friend, you know? That's all. So just to go on record for any Frontier security personnel who may be watching these videos or otherwise monitoring communications, nothing privileged has been shared with me. Okay, but that being said, I did think Leo's advice was good and I have started the process of getting a house set up here on the farm for me. Um, ooh, actually, can you see it if I swing the drone over? Yeah, there's an excavator over there doing some site prep work. Uh, it's not going to be done this month, the house, but I'm hoping to have the site prep done. They're digging uh, basically a basement. We're going to put a shelter under the house since I don't really have access to one out here. And after they dig that, we'll concrete it up and 
you know, finish the foundation and then put the house in on top. So we're hoping to have the site prep done this month and then work on the actual house in February. So I might have a home before the end of February. I'm very excited about that. The tent has just been so cold. Um, yeah, I'll take you over there after we work on this and show you what they're doing. Oh, the excavator also is very cool. It's uh, some big thing from JCB. And I, for insurance purposes, cannot safely operate the excavator. But the crew was nice enough to like let me get in the cab and show me what everything did. So that was fun. They're really nice folks. Yeah, so, you know, we've done this before. <laughs> you saw me clearing this last time. Uh, I did talk to Dan over at the dealership about getting this piece of equipment. This um, forge header, anyway. And Dan said, we absolutely can do that. Uh, brand new, this forage header costs something like $80,000. I don't really want to spend $80,000. The house is not trivially cheap. I mean, it's not expensive. I'm getting something very basic. The house itself is only about $20,000 in materials and labor, but the site prep adds to that, of course. So I don't think I can spend $80,000 on this header thing right now, but I will definitely keep this in mind. And I did talk to Paul uh, at DPW about um, borrowing this or leasing it, I guess, while I have it right now to do this cleanup job uh, to go clear the gate over there um, at the end of the road, the one that leads up to the dealer, or more directly to the dealer anyway. And Paul said, that's fine. It's not a big deal. I can just include it in the rental for this task. So I'm going to do that after I get the rest of this picked up. But I think I will spare you watching me do this whole thing again because you saw me do it last month. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll pop back in in a few hours and we'll go check out the site prep that's going on over there for my house once this is all done. See you soon. Hey there, welcome back to the farm. I want to show you the site prep real quick before I get on with the rest of what I've got planned. Uh, so I'm over here and you can see I'm sort of standing right now in front of the tent. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. That generator, I cannot even tell you. It's so loud. Um, you can see my view from here is the greenhouses, which are nice, and the oasis, which is nice, and Old Town, all those ruined buildings right there, which is real honking creepy. I don't love staring at that. So I decided when I build my house, I'm going to build it over on this side. over here where this excavator is. And I'm gonna face this direction where I can see the greenhouses, which are nice, and the oasis, which is nice, and the city, which I will take the city over ruined Old Town. Even if this does put me closer to Old Town, which I don't super love, but you know, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. So check it out. I got a giant hole. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, they're going to square this off and make this a shelter for me. And then this uh, excavator is doing some real great work. It's really cool. Um, the guys, the crew is on lunch right now. So I wanted to get the excavator in action, but I just didn't catch them before they took off. Uh, so yeah, once they get this hole prepped, then a crew will come in with concrete and concrete it up, pour the foundation, 
I think they're putting in, I don't know, some sort of, like, supports to reinforce it and, like, a some sort of ventilation or, like, um, air exchange system and it's going to have a plumbed in area in the shelter too in case I'm stuck there for a while because of an alert which we haven't had since I've been living out here and I don't know if that's because of the geofencing of the city and I'm just not getting the alerts because I'm outside the city geofence or if there really hasn't been an alert since I've lived out here. But I would like to have a shelter. I don't want to have no place to go if that happens. So yeah, I'm paying extra for the site prep just to take care of all that. So yeah, I hope this will be done this month and then next month they'll come up and put up the house which they said it won't take them too long because it's not a very large house. The site prep is going to be the most time consuming part of it. So I'm totally psyched. Uh, so my plan for this afternoon is to get the things from the greenhouse loaded up. I need to make some phone calls to find out where in town is going to be the best place to sell them. But it looks like sometime in the next week or two is going to be when I should go sell this stuff in town. So I will make some money off of that. And I haven't sold the sand yet either from clearing it up this morning. Um, so I will do that after I do the greenhouse. Hey buddy. Hey Phoenix. How you doing? Hi pal. Yeah, what a good boy you are. What a good boy. Yeah, what a puppy. Yeah. He just likes to wander around over here. That's fine, I guess. He doesn't go anywhere near the road, which I'm super happy about. I find him in the pond all the time. He loves it. He has been such a good friend out here. So happy. I made that decision for my birthday. Right, okay. Uh, I'll bring you back in a little bit once I get set up with the uh, flatbed trailer on my TLX so that we can do the picking up stuff from the greenhouse, get it loaded up and get ready to go into the city. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh my gosh. I am over here at the shop right now and I am livid. I can't even... Ugh. I brought my tractor to drop it off for service because I want it to be ready to go in March when I need to start planting. Rachel, my favorite mechanic here, asked me why I didn't buy the harvester. The used harvester that just came through the shop. It was bought as a trade and they sold it again already without my salesman, Dan, giving me a peep not a word nothing I haven't been here in a while Rachel didn't know Rachel's basically the only one here who's even been telling me when they have used equipment to sell I have told Dan over and over again I can't afford to buy everything new I think he just has in his head, I won a lottery. I got a million and a half dollars. He can like cash in on me. I am a payday to him. I don't have a million and a half dollars. I had to pay for the land I started with out there. I've had to buy all this equipment already. My money is doing really good right now because I did all the extra work for the Department of Public Works. I sold the sand. I still can't afford to buy all the equipment I need brand new, and I cannot believe that man is not listening to me. So angry. Oh my gosh. Rachel didn't know that Dan hasn't been telling me about the used equipment. I let her know. <laughs> 
I would appreciate a heads up if she sees anything else good come into the shop. It was a harvester. It was like almost half price. It was a good John Deere harvester. It was a piece of equipment that's normally close to $300,000. And it was like 160. I could have used that. Oh, I'm so angry. So I gave Rachel my phone number and asked her to please give me a heads up if she sees any other used equipment come through. I need to deal with Dan. That is unacceptable. I don't know whether to talk to him, confront him, talk to the manager. They've been really good to me here. I've been able to lease equipment. Dan even helped me source this flatbed for my trailer, for my tractor. Fuck, jeez. For my semi, my tractor trailer here, the TLX Phoenix. He helped me get this flatbed that fits directly to the chassis so I wouldn't have to have one of those really long um, low loaders or flatbed trailers that I'm towing behind when I bring stuff into the city to sell. He helped me get other accessories for this. All of those were bought brand new. And the fertilizer spreader. Everything I bought used, Rachel has told me about. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Alright. I don't have time to fuss about this right now. I need to take this out to the farm. I need some more pallets for the greenhouses. I'm going through them pretty fast as I grow stuff out there. And I will start unloading these pallets and loading some of the goods from my greenhouses up to bring back into town to sell them. Because I need money. Because I didn't get that good deal on that harvester and I'm going to have to rent or buy other equipment. <sighs> Alright. Clearly I shouldn't be talking to a camera right now. I'll, um, I'll come back. I'll bring you back later when I've loaded up or unloaded or worked off some of this frustration somehow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm back on the farm. I just spoke to Leo. That's him flying around now. Cooler heads prevailed. Leo has said I really ought to talk to Dan directly. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. Gotta give the guy a chance to make things right, I guess. So I will do that, but not right now. I still am feeling pretty angry about it, even though I think that's what I need to do. So I've got these carrots all boxed up, ready to go. I've got my uh, little telehandler over here that Rachel told me about and I was able to pick up on a good deal used. Oh man. And I'm going to start loading up these carrots into my flatbed here. I think my plan was to wait till next month to sell them because it was supposed to be better prices in a few days. But the supermarket is actually really looking for carrots right now. They've got a high demand out for them. So I think I can uh, make a lot more money just selling them directly to the supermarket right now. So I'm going to get these loaded up and take them over to the supermarket today. So let's hop into the telehandler and get going. This thing is a lot of fun and it is way more maneuverable than the wheel loader. So it was absolutely the right choice for doing things with the greenhouse.
think I can double stack these. My packaging is pretty sturdy. I told Paul at the Department of Public Works after I finished that uh, contracting work for them to clear up the sand that I would be happy to work on any other projects they might have where they could use an outside contractor if they run short or whatever, uh, at least in the short term. Hopefully someday I'm going to be too busy with my own farm to do stuff like that, but for now I could really use the money. Don't let that money fool you. I am going to be buying equipment and I really want to buy that property next door to put a field in and the house. So he said um, he will keep that in mind and let me know if something else comes up. I think the way he said it made me think he might have had some idea in mind and maybe needed to get clearance or have a think about it, but I suspect there will be something else coming for me from Paul, hopefully. He's a really nice guy. that makes up for my very bad handling of the uh, wheel loader when I filled up the greenhouses the first time. I do need to bring some more seeds and um, fertilizer out here to fill these up again, but I haven't had time yet. Make sure that closed the um, Side up. Okay, great. Let's drop those things down. Let's head into town and uh, see what I can get for selling these. I have been, it's been very cold in this tent. I think I mentioned that. I've been running into town to uh, grab coffee and warm breakfast sometimes and even just maybe go inside a warmed up building ooh, to uh, get warmed up a little bit. Uh, and I've been chatting with people at various businesses in town and Ginny at the farmer's market has been awesome. She's so funny. And she's very helpful. Um, Jenny said that I might want to consider getting some chickens because if I get some good ones, they'll lay eggs pretty regularly. And then I'll be able to... Oh dear. It looks to me like that gate is open. I haven't gone this way today, so I don't know who left that gate open. My orientation training for getting cleared to use this gate did not cover what to do if the gate was already open. But they did impress upon me how serious it was to keep the gate closed, so I think I'm just going to close it. I don't know if this is some sort of test. Maybe because I was... Hmm, implying things I shouldn't have been implying about uh, information I may have gotten from Leo, which I did not get any privileged information. Let's just keep reiterating that. Did they do a test like this? I don't know. I am not taking any chances. Everything closed? Okay. 
I did not leave the gate open. That wasn't me. Don't know who it was. Hopefully whoever it was can get back through it. But that is not my problem. I am a good little rule follower. Yes, I am. So there are two supermarkets in town, but the this over here is a smaller market. Um, it has a lot more organic food too. There's a co-op around the corner from this place and a little bit further up the road that provides a lot of produce they have. So these guys are the ones who are really looking for carrots right now. I have never delivered anything to them before. Um, let me run inside and find out where to take this. I'll just pull in the back here. Yeah, I'm off the road. That's fine. I'll just uh, run inside here and find out where I need to take this. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, well they said I can just take it right around the back. So I will do that and they will unload it for me. That is awesome. So let's just get this um, gate down so we can unload. Great, I'll get these straps off. And uh, after we unload here, I'll head back to the farm and load up the next batch of things to sell. And uh, see you soon. Oh, hey. Is he following me? No. It's just his regular patrol, right? It's fine. Okay, well, I'm on my way back to the farm. And there's Leo again. That's a little weird. Usually I don't see him that often. Hmm. Surely it's not related to that gate being open. Was that a test? Would Leo go in on something like that? I thought he was my friend. Well, now I don't know what to think. I mean, he's flying by my farm. He was just over there by the supermarket. What the heck is going on? All right, well, whatever. Oh, uh, that was really good. I sold those carrots for a little over $30,000. It's like 31,000 and change. And I've got more carrots to sell and other stuff. So I'm feeling optimistic about what my next steps are. So yeah, I don't want to make you watch me fill up this trailer over and over again and then drive around to town. Hello, money-making carrots. So uh, I'm going to do this off camera. My watermelons. And my cabbages. Oh, this is going to be great. I don't know how much the rest of them are going to sell for. I don't have as much of the uh, watermelons and the carrots. They are uh, cabbages. They grow more slowly. But I bet I can break 900,000. Maybe I could get close to 950? I think if I get up there, I'm going to buy that property next door. I would love... To get a second field going over here. Just plow this. Get growing. I don't know if I could get it ready by March. But maybe April. This is a huge area. It's basically as big as that field back there. But I could have two fields going. That would be great. Oh, also, I forgot to say, they finished the um, site prep over there a few days ago. 
for my house. So that is definitely coming uh, soon in February. It's all, foundation's all in place. It is ready to build on. So that's very exciting. All right. I think this is a good spot to end January. Um, yeah, I'm going to sell this stuff. And then maybe the next time you see me, I'll have another piece of property. I don't know how long it'll take to go through that. We'll find out. Would be nice if I had a harvester, but you know. I'm going to have to let that go at some point. All right. I'll see you all another time. Ta-ta for now.